la di da di da di dum I have loved you for the... I knew what you were talking about yesterday. Yesterday we were talking about love, Zaga, Edie Wynn. And we were talking about Manja Wei. <laughs> Make love! Um, but, uh, yesterday Nana Bujo was talking about how this feeling you get sometimes when you look at your pet. Once in a while I'll just look at Bagheera. This is Bagheera, by the way. Um, Bagheera's our cat, right? <laughs> sometimes, you know, granted this is a pretty common cat. Just a your run of the mill black lazy cat, right? But I just love him. And uh, you'll, I'll just look at him once in a while and I'll get this feeling like butterflies in my stomach. I think you put it well yesterday. Um, a tickling in my elbows. And they start giggling and smiling and I can't, well, I don't even know what I'm laughing about. He's just sitting there and I just get this giddy, happy feeling. And I think that's the, the chemical and emotional, spiritual, physical feeling of Zaga Edi Win of love. You know, you don't really choose. Love is not, I mean, I guess you can, can you choose to love somebody? Um, can you choose to love somebody? Can you choose to be attracted to somebody? I don't know. These are some pretty basic questions. Can you choose to love somebody? And then do you honestly love them later? Or does love just kind of happen to you? And you're like, and I can't escape it. I'm a slave to love. Slave to love. Remember that? Uh, no. You don't remember that song? Slave to love. La, 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 la. Oh, is that, um, what's his face from Roxy Music? <laughs> yeah. Um, what's his face? That whole album is great. And I can't tell her I'll be waiting in the usual place. Da -da 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 -da. Love songs, man. Anyway, can, do you choose, do you like see somebody who's like, oh, you know, that's an attractive person, and they have a good job, good values, come from good family. It it just makes sense that I should love that person. So I choose. Excuse me, sir. I love you. <laughs> you know, or does it just happen? Because you can't help it. That's what happened to me with you. Oh, sweetie, not in front of the children. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Hey, uh, will you do me a favor? Sure. Will you teleport me out to the Agua Ching? Yeah, sure. I'm going to go Agua Ching. I'm going to go outside. All right, hang on. I'm going to scan for your coordinates. <laughs> well, silly, I'm standing right here. Oh, yeah, okay. And then, uh, let's see, one to teleport outside. Okay, you ready? Yep. Make it so, number one. <laughs> nah. Wow. You really chose a pretty spot this morning. Oh, there's mountains back there. Nice. I wonder if that's the Colorado Rockies. Um, what's a John Denver song? All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. And I'm standing here by the Rocky Mountains. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye, but John Denver is dead and gone. He drunk drove a plane into that mountain, probably, and now he's just a ghost up in heaven, a beyond. So kiss me and smile for me. <laughs> Pretty sacrilegious, I guess. 
A Seema. The sacred mushkiki of the Anishinaabe. The sacred medicine. We use this tobacco not just to smoke. It's it's for more than just your cigarettes. <laughs> this tobacco you can offer to the great spirit when you pray. All you gotta do is say, Get Chimanadu, great spirit. Utapanan Niwi Asema. Accept my tobacco. You could just leave it at that. Sometimes I just say, accept my tobacco, and I put it out. Like if I'm going to go on a car ride or something. Please give me a good journey. Accept my tobacco. But I always start with that. I usually thank him for stuff. You know, Miigwech, Kichimanadu. Thank you, great spirit. Kaishi kakina keiku, kaishi chikea nungum. For everything that you do today. Miigwechka iji gijakak. Thank you for this life. Wow, gijakak, this life. Wow. Thank you for, um, or this day. I'm sorry, gijakak, his day. Um, Miigwechka bamarazian. Thank you for my life. Miigwechka. Okay, Nin Gashkendamowen. Thank you for healing my grief. Oh, good grief! <laughs> Thank you for healing my grief. You know, if you've ever lost somebody or gone through some sort of traumatic, depressing place, if you ever entered the, the abyss, ever been down, ever gone through hell, you know what it's like to have gush gained a moan, to have a language of sadness, grief. And it can keep you from being able to get out of bed. It can make you not care about anything. It can rob you of being able to love. But if you pray for healing... That's kind of a big thing for um, Gitchi Monitor. He likes to heal. <laughs> but you gotta ask. In the Gagi Kwei Mazini Igun, in the preach book, the Bible, Jesus said, Ask and you shall receive. His words, not mine. <laughs> so I think it's okay to ask, say, Hey, Gitchi Monitor, will you please heal me? Heal me, gage. Healing, gage. Maybe you need. <laughs> when I get that feeling, I need sexual healing. I need majwe, gage. <laughs> no, I need. Um, maybe you need healing, like spiritual healing. Maybe your grief has uh, hurt your spirit. Maybe your grief has hurt your mind. Can't think straight. Can't remember. Can't stop thinking about it. Can't move forward. Can't go back. You can ask your creator. He made you. <laughs> you know. You can adjust you. Go creator. Get your money to. I'm sick. I'm out of balance. Akkozi. Out of balance. Some people are out of balance because they're overweight. Some people are out of balance because they got Lyme's disease. Some people are out of balance because they got the COVID. You know? And some of us are out of balance because our hearts are broken. Well, it's okay. You can ask the Creator just to, you know, super glue your heart back together. And I can hear some of you right now going, well, what happens if you just gave away your heart and you don't have one anymore? Well, just like the Tin Man and the Wizard of Oz, ask God, uh, the Creator, to bring your heart back. Even that. Get your money to I gave my heart away, and they broke it. Now I don't have a heart. Well, maybe he'll give you a new one. Like the Tin Man and the Wizard of Oz. Hey, are these poppy fields? I hope not. 
Remember that in the Wizard of Oz when they were like got through the woods? We're out of the woods, we're out of the la 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 dee dee dum. And they end up in like a poppy field. And then they all like get high and fall asleep. They just slouch out in their opioid dream state until it starts to snow. Like the snow on the top of the mountain. Um. Well, they wake up and they go into the Emerald City. We're out of the woods. We're out of the la la dee 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 dum. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, um, yeah. La 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 la. Ruby Ruby says, pretty sure those are lupines. Oh, is that what they're called? Lupines? Is that a kind of, um, lilac? There's a story about me when I was a little girl. I went missing for 10 minutes. My mom was like, where, where is she? She looked around and she's like, oh no, somebody abducted my child. <clears throat> but then she saw underneath the lilac bushes, I just fell asleep. Crawled in there, fell asleep on the ground underneath the lilac bushes and they couldn't see me. There's something about lilacs that just knocks me out. <laughs> you know, it's like a drug or something. I wonder what would happen if I smoked lilacs. Probably fall asleep. <laughs> but I don't need your guilt. I'm too busy crafting this quilt. <laughs> I don't need your guilt. I'm just crafting a quilt. Missy B says, my whole life has been unbalanced. <laughs> yeah, me too, sister. This is good medicine you're telling. Oh, thank you. Don't think I could make it without his guidance. Yeah, you know. Oh, I don't know if I want to say this. It'll make me cry. I've got a really sometimes wise older brother. Sometimes he just says stuff in a way that sums it all up. And I'm thinking about this thing he said once. And... It made me cry at the time. I don't know if I can say it without crying. It's not sad. It's happy. But after my cat died, eh, after my cat died, I got real religious. Started reading the Bible. Started praying all the time. I mean, I would still pray you know, put out tobacco and pray in Ojibwe and stuff. But, you know, I had been sort of anti-Christian for a lot, a lot of years. And and when my heart broke, I don't know, picked up that Bible again. Start praying. And my brother is like, I don't think he's an atheist. But he's like a, you know, he's like a college professor. <laughs> and he doesn't, you know, I'm a simple small town girl with simple ideas and beliefs. He is a very complicated um, person. So I was a little embarrassed to tell him that I'd become religious. And I was writing to him on Facebook, and I was like, yeah, um, actually, I've really started to uh, get into my spiritual side, my religion and stuff. And I go, I know, maybe it's a crutch. You know, I was a little embarrassed, you know, to, to admit that I believed in God, and I believed in prayer, and I believed, and I was open-minded to the Bible. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to quit disbelieving in this stuff. Maybe it's real. What did Jesus say? And, uh, and he goes, yeah, well, the thing about crutches is they help you walk. And I was like, yeah. Maybe it is a crutch. 
but I sometimes need help walking. I don't know why I suddenly got so sad. It's too beautiful out here. It brings a tear to me. I. It brings a tear to me cold, dead heart. <laughs> nah. I don't know. Pablo Gore says, I think it's Anama A. Mazini Egan. A prayer book is whatever works for you. If it helps, it is good. Miigwech, Papa Bagosh. Yeah, Anama A. Gija Good. The prayer book. Is that what they call the Bible? I've been calling it the Gagi Quay. <laughs> the preach book, but you, know, you don't have to preach from it. You just can pray from it. But, it, you know, that kind of change in my attitude and life and stuff is sort of what, you know, when Nana Bouge was talking about don't be anti something, be pro something. You know, I want to be into something and I want to, I don't just want to be anti stuff. I don't want to, I want to be really into, really, I want to notice what's really great. Instead of always focusing on what's tragic, <laughs> you know. Oh, uh, I just can't believe how beautiful it is out here. But I suppose I, sh I should go back. Boop. Okay, hey, Buju. Hi, sweetie. Well, hey, Natasha, what are you doing? <laughs> crying in front of the Buju crew. <laughs> Why are you crying? Because I remembered what stupid Scott said. Your brother? Yeah. Yeah, he is stupid. I know. He's the s smartest stupid guy I've ever known. You ready to come home? Yeah. Could you teleport me back? Yeah, you got it. All right, I'm scanning for your coordinates. <laughs> okay. One to teleport. Make it so, number one. Hey. Hi. Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Why were you crying? <laughs> I don't know, I got all emotional. It was probably that stupid thousand year song and all those pets. Yeah. And I started talking about Scott and religion. No. I never know what's I never know what's gonna happen to me. <laughs> Sometimes my emotions Oh I, I must be on my moon. <laughs> You think you're on your moon? Yeah, it must be that time of the month. I'm all emotional. I could cry just at the drop of a hat. No, nah, just kidding. Anyway. What are you smiling at? Oh, nothing. You're funny. <laughs> Michael Lyons, you guys. 